Hello everyone, in today's video I will be showing you all of the equipment that I use as a photographer and a beginner YouTube filmmaker. Starting off with this camera that I have now. The camera that I use is the Sony a6400. I like this because of its weight and size. I never have to worry about bringing it to places because I'll never get tired of carrying it. The flip up screen makes it really easy to see yourself when you're filming vlogging or taking self-portraits. It can shoot amazing 4K videos and the autofocus is the best I've ever seen. Here, just watch this. See? It's instant. I've had no regrets making the switch to this camera and I'm really happy that I chose this. I have the 35mm 1.8 prime lens. One of the main aspects of this lens is its versatility. It's perfect for almost any situation, whether you're capturing landscapes, doing street photography or capturing portraits of people. It also has an aperture of 1.8, which allows it to perform really well in low light situations. The next lens that I have is this 85mm lens. For the longest time, I've always been opposed to using a zoom lens. However, at the start of this year, I chose to challenge myself and use a different lens that I'm normally comfortable with. I'm not gonna lie, I was really scared to start using this because of its very tight zoomed in shot. But since I've been using it, I've been really amazed to how it's brought in my creativity. My photos turn out really different than what I'm normally used to. A lot of people think that a focal length of 85mm is only perfect for portrait photography. However, it can also be used for landscape and street. But the 85mm lens really excels in portrait photography. The next addition to my equipment that I've recently purchased is this MacBook M1 Pro. I really like this laptop because it's easy to carry and it excels in performance. It's 16GB RAM with 500GB of SSD storage. So it's perfect for using Lightroom and Photoshop and it also edits videos really well. It's fast in performance and my workflow is much quicker. Another main thing that I really like about it is its long battery life. It can usually last a full day's worth of work without having to charge. I must say that the upgrade is well worth it. The next thing I have in my gear are my two pocket lights. This one is a Nanlite Beta light. And this one is the Ulanzi light that I got from eBay. If you've seen my photos, you know that I incorporate a lot of colors in my photography. Having pocket lights like these make it easier for me to add colors in my photos. They are also light and compact, which makes it easy to carry. They both have many colors that you can choose from and they're bright enough to light your subject evenly. The next thing that I have is a sturdy tripod. If you've seen my photos, you know that I take a lot of self-portraits. These photos are oftentimes done by just me and having a sturdy tripod that I can rely on is very important. I like this tripod because it can go up to almost 2 meters and it's sturdy enough to withstand a pretty strong wind. I got this from eBay for a really cheap price. There's a lot of tripods out there, so make sure you choose a really good quality one. This next thing I have is one of the most important ones in terms of both photography and YouTube filmmaking and that is my iPhone. Being on the go, I don't always bring my camera with me because maybe it's raining or sometimes I just forget. This phone shoots 4K and has amazing image stabilization. And because I have it with me all the time, I can capture any moment at any time. If you're just starting out and you don't have any gear, I highly suggest just using your iPhone. I guarantee that you would be surprised at the quality of your images and videos. The last thing I have in my equipment is my Beats Solo Headphones. Oftentimes when I'm editing, I'm by myself and it can be quite boring. So I like to put on my headphones and listen to music while I edit. I like these ones because they're really comfortable. I can wear them for hours and the sound quality is amazing. Also, one of my favorite aspects of these headphones is its battery life. I swear it can last for a week or almost two weeks depending on how often you use it. And you can fold it so that it can fit anywhere in your bag. And there you go guys, that's all of my equipment that I use for photography and filmmaking. If you use any of the same equipments that I use, let me know in the comments below how you like it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.